room. Shaggy's just chilling there. And ain't no thing. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. He's living. You you ditch him at, in the shark room, but then it's fine. Wait, Jax, have you have you even seen this yet? Jax, do you know what I'm about oh, to yeah, do? True. Do you know what I'm setting up, Jax? I think he does. I think he does. Like surely he does. Yeah, yeah. This shit's easy as fuck to do too, which is crazy. Like Cole's like, do it like this, and then I got it first try, and I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Duh. Oh yeah, true. Yesterday. I forgot. Well, you were in call, but you were running. I don't know if you were paying attention to what I was doing. You know. There's there's a couple things. Anyways, so uh, what I just did there, guys, is that I just I stored Shaggy, and so now uh, Shaggy <laughs> can throw you up, like you saw me throw him up. Um, and now I'm just gonna start a new game with that, and now he can throw me up, and it's pretty funny. I don't know why it works, but it does. So now you can get to hedge in 20 seconds, <laughs> which normally you need to have an upgrade and a double jump to get here. <laughs> it is funny how easy it is. It's like dirt easy, bro. Just like Hedge Gate Club. <laughs> oh, Mega Dent. Yeah. <laughs> that much coal? <laughs> dude, I'm definitely... Ugh, dude, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, I'm gonna feel like shit, I can already tell. Let's go! Aren't you so excited? I can tell this isn't just this sort of throw. No, I'm not, because I got shit I wanted to you do tomorrow. You got COVID, do you think you got COVID? You got the, you got the vid, brother. No. Got the vid, brother. I've had that once. This is not like that at you all. You might have the vid, brother. You might have, you need to check that out. Get the, get those 5G waves. <laughs> you might you might be 5 g uh, on these hoes, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Nestani. Listen to Minecraft music right now. Any Minecrafters in chat? Oh, sorry, I didn't even read that. Within a minute, which is good enough for you now. Let's go. Dub. Are you gonna keep grinding it? That category almost looks fun enough to get me to play the game. I'm not gonna lie. I think any person's a little whack, but Hundo Hundo kinda looks a little fun. I'm not gonna lie. It has piqued my tiny brain's interest. I'm gonna have to check it out one Your day. Little noodle. My little noodle. It's scratching my little brain. I think like being able to use like all the upgrades is like way cooler than like what you guys do in any percent. Having the helmet and shock one just feels wrong. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is so funny. It really does. Just getting extra snacks. This is Pog. Because this means I don't have to do fish cringe. This is so good. I love this. This is the best route of AMT for sure. It looks pseudo fun. Nah, it looks like P letters. Because you're cheating! Box Pikachu! <laughs> zip zip! He's time traveling! I don't know, I'm, I might just play uh, Pseudo Gorilla oh, casually. Well, minus five. I don't think I need that, that snack box. We're about to find out if I do. You guys remember Harambe? What about he died Harambe? When I was a freshman. He died when I was a freshman in high school. He died, yeah, that's true. That was seven, eight years ago.
What a simpler time. I remember exactly where I was. I was in, uh... I was in music <laughs> class. Exactly. <laughs> cool. I mean this in the nicest way possible, but you, you gotta have some more exciting stuff going on in your life. The fact that you remember where you are specifically when all this random shit happens. <laughs> I remember... You need to have some better like, events, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I remember Black Beatles was playing by Gucci Mane and Ray Shrummer. Uh huh. And uh, I was in my music class. And uh, this, this was one of the few classrooms that had Apple TV in it. And when Apple TV is like in its sleep mode, it shows a bunch of pictures of things. Um. And one of them was a gorilla, and so he was like, "Dude, that looks just like that that gorilla that died." And I was like, "What?" And then that's when I learned about the tragedy. Well, it's a canon event. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember where I was when Stan Lee died. Uh, I remember I that he sitting. died. I don't remember where I was, though. Uh, I'm gonna respond to my chat before you keep going with this bit, though. Um, it's not a bit, it's real life. All the upgrades make it more fun and less punishing to you. <clears throat> Turns every effect from time loss to just damage control. Yeah, that, that is a bit more interesting. I mean, I, I wasn't really, uh... I'm not intimidated by the game in terms of, like, skill. Like... That's just... <laughs> Uh, that is not a, a thing. I just, I don't know. I, any person just doesn't look that fun to me. But I think, like, being able to use all, like, the different power-ups definitely interests me more because then there's just more, there's more skill expression there rather than just, like, a couple things. Obviously, there's more to any percent than just a couple things, but, like, you know what I mean. Anyway, go ahead with uh, where you were when Stan Lee died. I was sitting on the stage right before we were about to start rehearsal for theater. And my friend Mark came up to me and was like, dude, dude, Stan Lee, he just died. Died emoji. And then we were really sad for the rest of the night. I don't think I was sad when Stan Lee died. I think the only person I was sad when they died was Kobe. I remember where I was when Kobe died. I don't remember where I was. I just remember that I was sad about it. I remember the next day we, we had some sort of assembly at school and then they brought it up as well. Like the next day. I almost died, Fuck. We didn't have an assembly for Kobe dying. <laughs> kind of Imagine. But. That was a moving story. Did it move you? Did it tickle your little pickle? <clears throat> I... I'm, mm, I retract that statement. I don't like Being the way that came out. Pickles, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go pee. Okay. Microsoft Word. You just mean to say it's like impossible to get frustrated? Right yeah, that's fair. I just think for me, like, I don't know, any percent, it's like a little short. And like the first couple of minutes of any percent are boring as fuck to me. At least just watching it. Like, the first part, like. Like, it only gets interesting once you get to that, like, once you, like, cross the bridge and you, like, zoom across and you do that, like, super vertical thing. You know what I mean? Like, that's when the run starts to get interesting, which is like three, four minutes into the run, which is like shmishma to me. Which is like almost li like that's a huge chunk of the run, considering it's 13 minutes, right? Or 12 minutes. Or three minutes of it. It's like a. I don't know how to do math, but it's a good chunk of it.
You are tripping. Coast Boats has not been an AMT since old Hedgegate clip. Like two years ago. Like before Fishy Skip was a thing. Ever since Fishy Skip has found it has not been an AMT. Both in uh, no lag clips and both in lag clips. Thank you, Nestani. <laughs> I'm losing it! Oh my god, he's losing it, chat! Watch out! He's losing his sight! Losing his mind! He wishes that somebody would tell him that he's fine! What song is that? <clears throat> losing my sight! Losing my mind! Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine! Losing my sight! Losing my mind! That's an older song. Cosmic knows what it is. Cosmic will come in clutch. Unless he left, in which case he's not going to come in clutch. You know, I, I clicked back into Discord, and the first thing it showed me was that image I sent you of Stuart Little and Stuart Little 3 wearing the Native <laughs> uniform attire. I don't know what you'd call it. Bring back oh. Stuart 2, 100%. Ain't that Pop of Roach? This is my side, this is my mind, with somebody will tell me I'm fine. I don't remember the whole song. That's all I remember. I can't even get to the chorus, so we'll just go with that. It might be Poppy Roach. It might be Daddy Roach. Thank you, Nestani. All right, I should just one dash here <laughs> for sure. What's yeah, one dash is better there. Fuck me in the butt, dude. God damn. Hey, yo. Before Nestani. the truth will set Got you done. free, it'll piss you off. <laughs> Seeing boss storage in a playground is so cursed. <laughs> it's fast. Wow. It is you should have really seen fun. It you should have seen this. I do it when you did it in Clamor One after getting the mat. Oh yeah, I did used to do that. In old any percent like pre fishy skip, uh, what you would do is that you would um you would pause storage in the hallway. <laughs> like after you get the the map, you would use the invisible ledges to get the snack boxes up top, and then you would just pause storage out. <laughs> And then you would dig. It was like one second faster. Two if you were like a lightning bolt with your power storage. Yeah, it's in my, uh, it's in my gas group PB. So my 2358 on my channel. That was when I did it last. Back when any percent was good. I think old any percent was definitely the best. There's a lot of skill expression. Because I think, like, as much as, like, the, the new age runners like to shit on Coast and Fishy, I think they're a very solid skill check. And I think it just kind of separates, like, top runners from uh, lower level runners. And I feel like there's more of a gap between top level runners and mid level runners back when, um, back when that was a thing. Whereas now I feel like a lot of things are a lot closer because the run now is just hit every trick forehead. And there's not too much to do with movement besides like just hit the snacks. And even then there's still like you can optimize your movement a little bit, but for the most part, it's just kind of like it's kind of just meh in any percent in my opinion, like nowadays, because I think like what Fishy and Coast brought was a different dynamic in that. There, it's just straight movement. Like, Fishy was all movement. Fishy 2 was boring. 
but like fishy one and fishy four were like you could definitely like eke out like four or five seconds if you're just like good at those levels right if you just properly use the 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 um if you properly use the momentum off the treadmills and shit there's a lot of little stuff that adds up which i thought was cool and i'm more of a movement based guy than i am a trick based guy i do like tricks and tricks are fun i mean obviously i ran one or two dalmatians which is literally just a trick fest um and obviously this game is a trick fest uh but like uh, i i definitely prefer movement over tricks overall um, tricks are fun until they're cringe. I mean, the thing about any percent now is that none of the tricks are cringe. They're all like very consistent. Like obviously, like they're hard as fuck, but like they're all consistent, right? Which doesn't, which makes it not cringe to me. Like I don't, I don't think any of the tricks in any percent are cringe. Now, AMT on the other hand, I think there's two incredibly cringe tricks with Geronimo Token Wall and Fast Lab Two. But like, I don't know. I just think movement mattered more back then, and now movement matters less. Because also, like, we now collect easier snacks. And it's just kind of like, now if you're really missing snacks on the inner percent route, it's just a skill issue. Like, it's not even, like, it's not even, like, understandable. Like, you really shouldn't be missing more than, like, three, four snacks, like, when you're playing any percent. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, like TAS AMT is the worst run in the game, for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Fucking Nestani. the space kook token bullshit, the plungerless bullshit, all that's bullshit, but, you know. I don't think that's ever going to be done, to be honest. I don't think those strats are ever going to come into fruition. game just has to decide if it's gonna work <laughs> i feel like it has to be more consistent than that i feel like i feel like plungerless isn't the problem the problem to me is the space coop token that is the shit that looks like dumb to me i think like plungerless is doable personally i do not think that that space kook shit is is doable that shit is dumb that definitely does not look that does not look possible. I wonder if I'm at five health if it's better to just run back than it is to death abuse. I'm just going to death abuse though because I'm lazy. <laughs> it's atrocious, yeah. That definitely looks like something that I'm like, no, no thanks. That's why I'm not trying either of them. I'm just like, no. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You probably could do 50 percent runs before that shit works. Uh, that does not look fun. That is so sad. Okay, well, I'm just the luckiest person ever, I guess. Nastani, John Donny. Well, it was going to be perfect RNG, but then it was still kind of perfect RNG afterwards. Cool. One day we'll figure it out, Copium. Yeah, AMT truly is cursed. It's just under Fortnite, as they say. I will say that, like, seeing a TAS of AMT would be the coolest shit, though. For sure. Like, I think a TAS for AMT would be the most, like, cool TAS that we could make. Because it would just be so much bullshit. Because you would have two lag clips in it. You would have like fucking 15 boss storages. Like, it would be crazy. Two lag clips. Fucking the space coop token shit. The fucking plungerless shit. Like, it, it would be wild. It would be like 26 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I it it doesn't even make a lick of sense to me. It, like, there's a zero percent chance that I ever understand that. Well, not a zero percent. Like, if I really wanted to, I could probably figure it out. But like, why? <laughs> like for like for what reason? There is none. I don't really plan on grinding the game that hard ever again. <clears throat> well, the thing with Fish Crunch is, again, is that it's consistent, you know? Like, there's a consistent setup. The only r reason that Fish Crunch is even a little bit uh, cringe is just if you do the fast setup that saves two seconds. But if you don't do that setup, it's 100% consistent. And if you miss it, it is a skill issue. Skill issue. And what are you saying, Cole? Sorry, I cut you off. I mean, Fish Crunch was pretty cringe before the consistent setup was yeah found, that's true but, um and there might be the a consistent thing, setup for the, the thing you know like the real problem with the space coop uh clip is that like it's way easier to control the fish than to control the space coop yeah because the space coop only chases after you when you're in a certain distance away from it and then when you want it to turn it doesn't do a sharp turn it does like a rounded turn so 
It just makes it even worse. I've never even... I've tried to do it when Mortal was explaining it to me in a call and I couldn't do it once. So. I don't know. Maybe there'll be... You never know when somebody comes along and likes the game enough to... Hate themselves that much. Sit down and try it. But like right there. So like I didn't like dip down at all. Right, Groink? I, I just bounced and got a clean bounce and went up. Like I didn't do like a little dugoon. And if you don't do the dugoon, like then you, you get it. I'm sorry, go ahead. I just wanted to explain that. I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't know. I don't really bother predicting Scooby anymore. That trick is so cool. That is the coolest thing I've ever found in this game. <laughs> it, it just looks sick. <laughs> it, it's just cool. <laughs> it's cool and it's also fun to do. The true, the true, the true combination there. Repository JMT is a free PB because there's so much backtracking that you just cut out by just pause storaging. You just have to just be okay with losing a run like every now and again. And honestly, like nowadays, like pause storage is just like so much more consistent than it used to be that it's like, like we have a perfect understanding of it now, right? There's no like try to time the pause when you plug back in the controller. That was ass. That was real bad when we had to time both yeah, the in and the out. Now you just get the out and you're long. good. No, I didn't. It was, it was like. I remember when Rubber Toe came in and told like Mortal and I that, and I was like, oh shit. It was like maybe like a month and a half, two months that we did that. It was like pretty quickly that we stopped doing that. Saturday night, I'm on the edge of the night. Nobody cares if I'm dead or alive. Oh, what a wonderful life! Try to do it once in a run and quit out in the map like a real one. That's it's truly the way. It's just something that. I do think that out of like the, I mean, I think it's easier than a lot of the other strats that you would learn. Like it's definitely easier than like GGS or RBS or anything, you know, it's, it's obviously more, it's the most risky trick to go for, but I don't know in terms of skill wise, you just got to get comfortable doing it and run. Cause you, you can also do it to where you're like, you're playing it safe. So you're all, always like trying to time your shit so that like you're pressing a after you unplug and then you just slowly inch it back and slowly inch it back and slowly inch it back and slowly inch it back. Cause that's what I do whenever I'm doing it in like marathon is that like I play it really safe, which is why I normally have like four or five like retries whenever I'm doing post storage and marathon just because I'm playing it like super safe. Yeah, that's fair. You also, yeah, you also just have to know exactly where you're going and what you're, you're doing and shit. Thank you. 
Thank you, Nestani. BKE, more like BK free. Nastani, John Don. Shit about is everybody else. You just can't quit. Are you doing it? As a PKE failure, I take offense to that. Under Fortnite, as they said. To be fair, I am cheating because me and Cole did play bingo and I did BKE like in like three bingos that we did. So I already kind of have it de rest. Oh my goodness. Uh, What do I do here? That works, I guess. <laughs> what what a backup. <laughs> Omega dance. But it's like didn't jump there. L ratio plus minus. Subtract divide. We can keep going on and on and on and on, and on like this. <laughs> Why is bro just in the wall all the time? That's <laughs> so funny. He's just in the wall. <laughs> didn't know he was chill like that. <laughs> Probably. It's just funny because I've never seen that happen until like now. Uh, math. We have 30 here. Then we have 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, we're good. And if we miss that one, we have the backup one above the thing as well. We we'll just use the the backup one uh, in the in the hallway. I wanted to get the one while I'm falling, because it's faster. But that is fine. And he's got my head running 24/7.
And any percent, <laughs> that's a really hard snack box to get. Bro just forgets the other half of my sentences. It's wild. It's almost like there's always qualifiers to whenever I say things. <laughs> Uh, is this record pace? I think this is record pace. I'm unsure. I think it is. <clears throat> is your uh, splits record or is it low? Huh? Like, is it the 37-14 or your... Or no, that's it? just the PB on my splits. Okay. I don't remember what the record is. <laughs> it's a 39-40 by me. No, it's, uh, it's a 30... What is it, actually? I was about to say, you beat that already. I forget what it is for a live clips. Cause I did I did a run when I was doing Hepta. And I think it was a high 36. No, oh, you're not counting what you did yesterday. Ryan in theory of Twitch. That's definitely right. Ryan in theory. Alright. And I approve. Yeah. This is a hundred percent record. That is official record. Is there 